Hey guys, what's going on? Diddy has been spotted once again. Diddy is still in Miami. Diddy's passport has been seized by the FBI. This is why he is still in Miami. He tried to run, but he was caught in Miami's airport. Remember the video where he was walking, pacing back and forth? Yeah. So they took his phone. They took his passport. During the raids, this idiot tried to run. Tried to go to another country. He was at Miami airport waiting on staff, on people. He was stopped right there. When the FBI tell you to stay put, you have to stay put. You cannot leave the country because you are under investigation. So anywho, he was spotted Thursday night, March 28, 2024 at top golf with his twin daughters as you can see the twin daughters they are looking very unbothered well let's say they are pretending to be unbothered to look unbothered because they are well trained media trained just like diddy all these celebs they go through media training media training is a process that prepares individuals to interact with the media it provides them with skills to navigate interviews um press conferences uh public appearances pretty much the goal is to deliver a message accurately confidently and without causing damage to their image so this is what the twins are doing the twins are being used by diddy to keep us you know like a smiley face like they're not bothered this is what this is it's media training it's because puffy believe me is he is bothered trust me when i tell you diddy is bothered they all are but they have to keep a poker face as if, you know, like, yeah, things are normal, things are... No, it's all lies. Same goes for his sons. Christian, he's a tryhard. He's the one that, he's very awkward. He just try hard. He is so awkward, it's not even funny. So awkward that it's cringe. It's so uncomfortable to watch him. Christian is on Snap, just posting the same things from months or a year ago they're not new stuff that he's posting so they just want the money because i don't know if you guys know when these celebs have high followings on snaps and people check out their snaps they get a big check for it because every two seconds while watching their snaps you get an ad like that interrupt that interrupt the whole freaking thing and it's annoying. So I don't even be checking for these people. And I'm not trying to put money in Christian's pockets, in these people's pockets, because they're not using the money to do good. They're using the money to do evil. So no, but I did check to see, you know, what he's posting. And it's the same stupid stuff from months ago, from a year ago, from two years ago. His girlfriend too. His girlfriend is probably being pimped out by Christian because there's no way a man who loves you would even sh wanna touch you like that in public. And like, it's just disgusting. She, it, she has a fake butt, <laughs> a fake butt, you know? It's like the way he's with her is just like for her body. He focuses on her body. That's all he focuses on. It's so disgusting. These two are so disgusting. It's like, why? If he loved you, he would not. The way he be groping on her and just like in these snaps, just nasty. Like, why are you doing that? Like, well, you see why? Because the environment that they're in and look who his father is and look who she's around. These, I'm telling you because... Christian is mentioned in the document in the lawsuit. You know, he SA someone, okay? And Justin is the one that's really deep in it because he's the one that's finding the underage girls and doing all these things. So this dude, did he, he effed up his kids' lives and it's sad. But back to Christian. Yeah, so they, they, they're looking for a check, you know, because now they're still posting. And, you know, trying to get their little money, a little check still from Snap, you know. And the, the, the girlfriend, she has this, this business where she's, um, you know how they, they get their clothes from China 
from Alibaba, and then they resell it. They put their logo on it. Yeah, so that's a, that's what the girlfriend. Yeah, it, it's probably a cover up. You know, it's probably a cover for something else. Cause if you're dealing with Diddy, if Diddy is fuck effing up his kids' lives, and then any girlfriend that they deal with, you don't think they will be involved? You don't think they, they listen, listen, listen? Okay, that girl. Yeah, she she needs help. She needs to get out of that nasty environment because I doubt a little business that when she's she's um. She's uh, reselling sweats like hoodies and hoodies and uh, <laughs> I guess. But yeah, but I believe it's a cover. These people are probably being pimped. Uh, for sure, she's being pimped by Christian. For sure. Allegedly, I want to say allegedly. But I believe, I believe she's being pimped by him. Because no, there's no way they are too desperate for that snaps uh check, too desperate. She's she's desperate. He's desperate. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. But I just wanted to let you guys know. But let's move on. So Diddy was spotted, uh, you know, with the twins, um, and then the next day, he was seen with Stevie J. Now Stevie J must really. First of all, Stevie J need to go and pay his child support. Cause last I heard, he owed a lot. Okay, that freaking bum, that deadbeat bum. Yeah. So he was spotted with Diddy. Diddy must have a lot of stuff on Stevie J. They pretty much, they pretty much done a lot of nasty, filthy things together. That Stevie J cannot distance himself. From Diddy, because I'm telling you, they are partners in crime. Okay, they are partners in crime. It's obvious. Stevie J is disgusting as well, and I'm sure more things will come out about him. He's a cokehead as well. Jocelyn is another cokehead, <laughs> but she exposed him a lot, many times. She even accused him years ago of. Wait a second, hold up. Yeah, I'm going to find this. Um, she accused him of molesting her, um, molesting his daughter with Mimi, not their daughter, but Mimi's daughter with Stevie. So she accused him, Jocelyn accused Stevie J of molesting his daughter with Mimi. That's crazy. And this was 2016, I believe. So yeah, and she also called him a devil worshiper. Mm. And said that he's gay. And said that he's gay. Yeah. So see, these things were coming out and no one wanted to believe it. But I believed it. I believed it. I believed her. These people are a bunch of deviant weirdos, okay? So look who he's with, Diddy. Okay? So not only he was he was accused of molestation. And being gay, and being a devil worshiper, mm. and look who Diddy as well. Diddy is being accused of kids, you know, trafficking, and being with you know kids. He's a devil worshiper. <laughs> yes, he is. He he deals with witchcraft and everything. He's a warlock, um, and you know, and that he's also gay. So you see why these two are like partners in crime. They've done so much, so much together, so much dirt. So yeah, he can't distance himself, or Diddy will be exposing that butt. <laughs> okay, sickles. So he was spotted with Stevie J at a cafe in Miami, and again with the media training, he's smiling, saying "What's up?" Throwing up the L sign, whatever love. Yeah, it's all media training. I, I bet they told him to go out there, be seen, be seen, smile, act normal, act the same. You know, it's part of the game. He is depending on the fans who sees things at a surface level. Yes, at a surface level. 
that's who he's depending on to support him still. Because some people, they take things at face value and they don't, you know, they don't see right through these people. So, yeah, this is what it is. And um, so I'm going to play this clip, you know, where he's at the cafe and he's acting all unbothered media training. Okay. And let me point this out. This guy, the guy who was recording, that bald headed guy, that bald headed white guy, that's Diddy's type. Diddy love white man who looks like that remember the the escort the stripper that he was dealing with with cassie and them yeah he looked just like him looked just like him the beard everything looked exactly like jonathan odie i will post a picture so you guys can see that this guy right here and jonathan the one who did he was having a threesome with with cassie the guy who was an escort for Diddy and Cassie. Yeah. And also, Bruce Willis has a bald head. And we know about Bruce Willis and Diddy. <laughs> we know. Mm -hmm. We know. We know, we know, we know. I wonder if Diddy got this guy number right here. Yeah, that's his type. I mean, Diddy doesn't have a type. He screw everything, everyone, men, women, trees, tables but still yeah this guy is his type because from jonathan the escort and bruce willis and now this guy i wonder if diddy got his number on the low low you never know just because diddy is in trouble does not mean he's still not trying to get his you know mm -hmm. yeah because he's a freak he's a he's a horny demon he's a sex demon so yeah Thank you guys for tuning in. I'm going to play the clip. Thanks. I will see you. Please like, please subscribe, please share. I'll see you on the next one. Peace. Pad, run into the man right here. Love. What's up? Miami's like that. Yeah. It's a movie. Down here at, at Pura Vida by my pad, run into the man right here. Love. What's up? Miami's like that. Yeah. It's a movie.